Hey guys, hope you are all well. Um, first of all, I want to say a big thank you to the guys who have sub subscribed uh, to the channel so far after these videos. Um, I hope I continue uh, creating more stuff, more content for you guys to, to watch and learn and just be inspired and stuff like that. Um, I've got these photos now that were sent to me. So they're not the best quality. They were taken, um, I'm guessing, by a phone. So, and they're JPEG. So I can only do so much with them. It would have been a lot better if I had the raw image. Then at least then I could bring it into Lightroom or Camera Raw and sort it out from there. But anyway, let's dive straight into this and let's get cracking. So here we have, so far, we have uh, what looks like a beetle. Um, okay, we've got some detail in the beetle here and we've got some detail in the carpet or rug or you know, whatever it is. So let's first of all, let's go into filter and we go to, down to camera raw filter. This should uh, allow us to work to the maximum uh, of this image. Uh, separating the colors and whatnot and um, again if this was a raw image I would have a lot more freedom to do uh, a lot of other different things so let's try and bring down the highlights of it because there's a crazy shine here on them and we'll bring up the shadows a little bit just to bring some detail up around here on the other side and bring down the whites a bit um, let's bring up some texture a little bit just not too much and a little bit of clarity on that brings out some detail. Now you could go crazy with these uh, sliders, um, especially with the D is one. You got to really uh, just be careful with it because if you slide it all the way there, that's what happens. If you slide it all the way to the other w direction, you get this. It's mental, um, unless that's the look you really want to go for. But um, we're just going to leave it as it is because we don't want to go too crazy and um, so far that's all I'm going to do on here so I'm just going to go up and bring up my hue saturation and illuminance this is where now I can change the colors so we've got a green slider so it'll just attack the greens so if I slide it all the way over there you can see that it brings out more yellow on the other side it's more greeny bluey green kind of look to it but we're not going to go that crazy with it again you want to uh, really just mess about the colors on these and uh, see what you can come up with now we can see there's a little bit of pink or whatever at the top here we're going to see if we can uh, just manage to do something with that with the purples and magentas obviously not that much um, again, these are JPEGs and possibly take them with a phone. I'm not too sure. I don't know, but we're going to try our best. So I'm just going to bring up the gradient tool and we're just going to, this will just highlight the center point of them because there's a lot of wasted space here. I could crop all this off, um, but then I feel like it doesn't, it won't add to the image if I crop it off. Um, we'll just tone it down a little bit there and we'll add another one to the top. I may crop the top off that a little bit. And we'll okay on that. And we'll just watch change. There you go. Again, it's it's enhanced it a little bit. Um, not too much. But we'll see. Let's just crop down this part and double click on it so then it removes it. Um, I like what I like to do is I like to go over to the adjustments and over to the color lookup. So we have this uh, load 3D LUT. So we're going to click on that, the drop down, and I like the Kodak 5218. So if we click on that, it gives it that kind of feel to it that it's, uh, it gives it more of a story and tones down a lot of the stuff in it. So if you can just see, that's what it does. So yeah, I like this photo now. And it's again, um, 
we've done it as much as we can do on it. Um, these editing processes that I'm doing, these the uh, you can go buy them. Um, but this is how I feel. I would edit this picture, and uh, possibly some other guy may edit it a different way. But I I've edited it this way. So yeah. So we save that, and we'll go on to the next one, which is this a uh, bit of a crazy looking lobster dude here. So I'm just going to zoom in. That is Command and the plus key on a Mac. I'm not too sure what it is on a Windows. I don't really like Windows. So uh, we're going to go to Filter again, Camera Raw, so we can try and bring out the best in this. Now this seems to be kind of sharpish enough. Um, well, let's see what we can do here. So we we'll bring down the highlights, bring up the shadows so we can see what we're working with. Uh, let's get the texture going on this because there's a lot happening with them. And we're going to bring, we could bring up the clarity way high, but that looks terrible. So we'll just bring it down to there. We could dehaze it, it would bring out more of the color in him. And we'll leave it at that. Um, I don't know if this guy's underwater or not. I can't really tell. Uh, give it a little bit, a tiniest little bit of blue in there. And we'll take down the vibrance a tiny bit as well. Um, back into our hue and saturation and luminance. So we're going to give take down the blues, make him more like a teal. So he is underwater. We've got some oranges here. So let's make him more orange. We'll go to the yellows because there's a bit of yellow in them. That makes him a bit more. The reds, I'm not going to touch the reds because they're bright enough. The luminance will just make it the blues darker or brighter. But we're going to leave it. If you double click, I don't know if anybody knew this, but if you double click on the little slider, It'll bring it back to zero straight away. So let's just add a gradient in here. And yeah, I like that one, but it's just a bit too dark for me. So we'll edge it that way. A lot of space over here, so we'll make a little bit more and bring down the shadows on it a bit. Kind of eases it in. And maybe a little bit on the exposure side as well. So here we have it. Uh, we've got uh, this lobster. Uh, we'll hit OK on this. See what happens. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. But his eyes are a little bit beady. So we're going to actually bring them out a bit. So if you go over here uh, to the, the burn and dodge tool. It's like a little fist. If you just go up to the dodge, I'm just going to lighten them a bit. It looks like a little lollipop or something. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit more so I can see. See, so you can see his little white eyes. Let's, let's double click on them a few times. Let's bring them up just so it makes it look like he's looking at us. And then if we want to zoom back out, it's command and the minus sign. And there you go. We've got our little uh, lobster with his beady eyes. And again, go to adjustments and our 3D LUT and we'll add in the Kodak. And that gives another look. What I normally do as well, I add another layer. I go to the pink bucket. I like the teal color. Cover it all in that teal and bring it right down to two or three, two, and then you can see it just gives it a little bit more pop of underwater. And that's us, that's our second one. So moving swiftly on, and like I said, these edits are just my preference. They're, they're what I think looks good. Somebody else could edit it a total different way. So right now we've got a landscape, okay, 
We've got a bit of fog going across the mountains and stuff. Uh, let's zoom in again here so we can see a bit more. Um, I don't know, if, oh, there's not much detail in it because again, it's, uh, it's a very low res photo. Um, this is quite annoying, the end of the, the pier here. That's a little bit annoying, so I'll have to get rid of that. Um, this dude over here, well, he can, he can go. Because the center of point of focus on this is this sweeping landscape and the clouds and this guy here on a boat fishing. So first of all, we're going to get rid of this. This big elephant in the room here that's done in the corner. So if we click on our lasso tool and we just draw roughly around it. Boom. And if we hit shift, it'll bring up the content to where now the computer Photoshop is going to do its job to pick out things around the photo in that area to uh, cover this section. It'll do its best. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see what happens. Maybe we can work with it. Okay, it didn't do too bad of a job. I can work with this. If we go up to select, it deselect, gets rid of all that there. Now, how are we going to get rid of this? We go to the stamp tool, it's called the clone tool, this little stamp button here. And now we have our circle. So we're going to uh, just make this a little bit bigger. You can do that using the two bracket keys. You can make them smaller or bigger. And if you hold down Alt on your keyboard and click somewhere where you want to uh, start copying. So I'm going to click uh, over here and let go and then we just start you can see where the cursor is that's where it's copying start painting in getting rid of all this uh, other parts of it and there we go we got a let's just uh, pick that section pick that section it's good to pick different sections of it so it doesn't look like it's constant as if it's the same thing over and over again. So there we go, I'm happy enough with that. And yeah, the guy over here, let's bring our brush down a little bit and Alt again. I'll pick this section here and I'll try to line it up. You can see on my, inside the circle, inside the paintbrush, what I've selected. So you kind of want to line it up to what you already have here and just sweep across. And there you go, he's gone, he's out of here. So. We have now left with this landscape. Uh, I'm not going to be able to bring out any detail in this. I know that for a fact. Um, just due to the, the fact that it's a very low res photo. So let's go up into camera filter. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Let's take the highlights down because it is a dull day. Um, take the shadows up a bit, just a little bit. Let's bring up the texture so we can see a bit more detail. Now you may see this uh, blockiness up in the sky. That is due to the low res, but we can get rid of that very simply. If we go to our gradient tool, let's pull one down but there now this is what we don't want we want to make this nice and smooth so we'll double click on everything put everything back to zero especially the texture so everything's back to zero this is what we're going to work with we're going to everything that I change is going to change in here but it's going to change as a gradient so it'll start from the top and get smoother as we go down so if you grab the clarity, obviously clarity is going to make it go crazy. So we can just see, see the difference. We're really smoothing out those little uh, pixels. And we'll bring down the texture as well. So let's smooth that out nice and lovely. And we'll make another one just right about there at the bottom. 
Now I don't want to do that far here, so what I'm going to do is put this one back, so it brings back some uh, detail in that. Um, we're just going to do a little darkness on there. We'll bring this down a little bit, bring the texture down. And yeah, there we go, it, that's that sorted. But then we're left with the mountains in the background. So what can we do with that? Let's see. Right, let's go back again to bring up all our other dials and other gradients. Let's click on the hand up here. It brings us back to the start again. So I'm going to click on our hue and saturation. Um, there's a bit of yellow and orange going on. So let's bring that down. You can see there, it's ever, ever so slightly, but we'll make that. And we'll get the blues, we'll make them a little bit more aqua looking. So it changes down here. And we'll hit OK. So I changed it a bit. Um, this is still, I still can't really do anything with this. I could do like a sky replacement, but that's a whole nother video. Now, I'm going to burn it. So I went over to our dodge and burn. So this time it's burn. So the burn obviously does what it says. It's going to make things darker. So we just, just paint it in. It might bring in, enhance some of the background. There we go. Up on the mountains there. And clear that, clear that. And we'll do a little bit down here. Just so they just swoop straight across. Um, I think that's it done. That's that one finished. So I'm on to my last one now, and that's this boat. Again, this was already taken with a phone, I bet, and already cropped. So we're missing all sides here. It was already cropped in, um, but we can work. We can work with it. We can work with it. So I'm going to go to filter, camera raw, and let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can uh, change the sky a bit, bring down the highlights. You can see it made it a little bit darker up there. Um, let's bring up the shadows because it makes it a bit more of a warmer day. It was a bright day, I'm guessing, that day. And we'll make it a little bit warmer. We'll bring down the whites a little bit. Let's bring up the clarity a tad. Um, not too fast really about the texture. Um, D is just you can see D is is a very powerful slider. You might want to just uh, go easy with D is at times because it adds a lot of contrast in and everything. So we'll just leave that as it is. So we have it here. I want to highlight this boat and um, basically this section. So we're going to make the sky just a little bit darker. We'll bring down the exposure on it. Because I don't know if you've ever been on a holiday and you look up into the sky and it, on a very clear day and a very hot day, you can see it gets darker as it goes up. So that's what I'm trying to create here. So we'll just give that a little bit of a gradient too. And let's jump back into our hue and saturation. We'll bring down the blues a little bit. Makes it look like a little aqua color. Lovely. Stay in there. Uh, these greens here. We can make the greens a bit yellower. There we go. You don't want to go too crazy on the yellows because you're changing the, the sand at the bottom as well. So we'll just uh, leave it as it is. Let's head to saturation. We could bring, we can go nuts with that if we wanted to, but I don't think so. We're just going to leave it uh, a little bit down there. Luminance just brings that up a bit, just a tad. There we go. Perfect. And there we go. Bang. 
Now I want to add something in here. We've got a big shadow here on the boat, but we've got no sun. So how are we going to put in a sun? Now some people might go, what are you doing? Putting in like a lens flare into this. Well, you'll see why in a minute. So if you go to filter, render, lens flare, it'll bring up this. Now there's a few different uh, lens flares in this. I am going to go with this 105 millimeter prime. Now you can see the, on the slider how much of effect it has. Now obviously the sun is not down here, it's right up here. So we're going to put it at the edge basically of our photo. And we'll make it a little bit brighter like so. And we'll hit OK and let's see what happens. There you go. Now, some people may disagree with this, some may not. But it kind of adds to the photo a little bit. Now let's give it some feeling. Back into our uh, 3D LUTs, down to Kodak. Gives it a nice little feeling. Let's add another layer. Paint bucket. Make sure your teal cover that up. And we'll slide this, the opacity, straight down to, let's try three. Is three good? Three looks good. Yeah, three's cool. And there you have it. Four photos. I was given quite a few photos actually, but I picked out the best four that I thought would help um, in this tutorial. Um, I hope you have learned something out of this. Uh, I could I could do a more in-depth one, but then again, I would need a raw image where I could totally manipulate everything. Um, uh, if you have any photos you want to send in, um, my email, just on the bottom here. Um, I also have it in, a, in the description below. So you can send, make sure it's raw, raw image I'm looking for, or a very high quality JPEG would be good as well. Um, yeah, and if you uh, if anybody wants to subscribe and like to my channel, that would be brilliant. Um, I hope the guys who already have subscribed, this, this tutorial has helped them out. Um, yeah, and until then, until tomorrow, whenever I do some videography, uh, I'll talk to you then. So, bye-bye.